Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the part 14 for Vue.js project and uh, in this part we will learn how we can make API for restaurant list. As you know, we are using JSON server to create APIs and we already created two APIs with the help of JSON server, which is login API and sign up APIs. So how we can install uh, JSON server, how we can use it. I already told you in the previous video link is given in the description box for complete videos if you didn't watch that video you can watch from here so now let's see how we can make api for restaurant list as you know when we created the api for login and uh, sign up that time we created the uh, array for users and now we have to create a uh, array for restaurants so let me put the comma and simply use here restaurants Restaurants and uh, obviously it will be a array. And here we can take an object and inside it we can put the details for our uh, restaurant. So why we are creating these APIs? If guys you are not remember uh, that, so in last videos we created the routes and all, and I told you that on the click of home page or on the home page reload we will integrate our API for restaurant list and it will contain some details like restaurant name, address, contact detail and all and we will show them here. That's why we are creating API and in the next video we will integrate with the Vue.js. Alright, so what details we need to do? First of all we need ID. So let me put here ID let's say 1. After that uh, name. So let's say restaurant name is uh, Burger King. After that, we can add contact and let's say contact is double one double one. Obviously, this is not the actual number. And uh, then we can uh, add here address. And let's say address is Noida sector. Uh, we have to use it inside quotes only. Uh, sector 50, right? So that's our uh, first record, but this is, this is enough to create our API. So now let's see is it created or not. So how we can check it as you know our uh, uh, JSON server is running on the port 3000. So let's open it. And now you will find there we have two APIs here. So one for the users obviously that that is for login and all and second one is the restaurant. Here you can see that we have a only one restaurant detail so we can add here more but before that let's test this api on the postman also so let's open the postman you can download it or you can use it as a plugin of uh, chrome browser it's totally up to you so now let's just go cancel these pop-ups and uh, let me just close the previous one right i don't need that Okay, so let's select the get method and just put here URL and now you can see that it's giving the 200 status. 200 means everything is working fine. If you just put here some wrong URL, then it will give you 404. That means page not found, right? Okay, and here you can see that this is working fine. So now let's add some more details. Let me add here one more. And it's let's say ID is 2. You can put here name Domino's. And it will be in uh, Guru Chrome. What is that? Guru Chrome sector 20. And let's add one more detail. You can change the contact number also. And let's say with the ID 3 and it's a KFC. Contact number is something this and it will be in daily CP right so now let's check this is it working fine here you can see that this is working fine so we we can add here more details also but for a moment for show the API demonstration this is perfectly fine in the next video we will integrate our this API where we will integrate obviously over over our, our applications home page here we will just uh, uh, make a table or a take make a list we will add some style and populate this data 
and that will be fast from api so thank you for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video